What's up, man? Excuse the uh, my neighbor cutting his yard over here. But I've started doing the swap on this. Um, haven't really got really far, so now's a good time to start documenting it. I pulled out the uh, auto motor and tranny, the four-cylinder one. I sold it for like 300 bucks. Not much, but it ran good. Um, so, obviously, if you're going from auto to five-speed, you're going to have to swap out the pedals. Um, another thing is the booster while you're in there. This is the four-cylinder booster. Yes, it will work. I have Cobra brakes all around. It works, but not as good as a uh, V8 one or a Cobra would. I'm going to buy a 93 Cobra one for this car. I was going to Coyote swap it, but I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do the uh, push rod swap since I already have everything. Number one, first thing is the harness. Um, actually, first, K member is the same. Motor mounts are obviously different, but the K member from V8 to four cylinder is the same. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can keep the stock uh, four cylinder power steering lines. It looks like they're the same. We'll find out once we get closer. Um, another thing is the power steering pump is the same. If I had the little tool to take off the pump, I would have just took off the pump by itself and put it on the bracket for the V8. I wouldn't even have dis disconnected anything, but whatever. Uh, what else? So this harness that comes from here, that comes from the in from the inside the dash, basically the firewall from the dash is this right here. It disconnects here. Now this is what's going to determine if it's going to be a plug and play swap. Excuse the lawnmower once again. This is going to determine if it's going to be a plug and play swap. My car is a 93. You can use late 92 to any 93. Uh, so this part coming from here is from the four cylinder. It goes into the uh, firewall there and then it comes out. This is it here. Connects to the uh, uh, starter solenoid. All this is all four cylinder stuff. Now here is where it separates separates here and that's where you want to use the v8 one that runs along to the headlights and then uh, eventually hooks up to the v8 alternator now i do have one that came off of my donor car but it's dirty as fuck ugly as fuck and it uh it looks like some of the lines were cut i mean some of the wires were cut so what i'm gonna do and i previously did this on a swap and it does work i'm just gonna extend these Obviously, they're not going to reach to where the V8 alternator would be. So I'm just going to extend these. Again, this is from the four-cylinder. Comes from over there, goes around to the headlights, comes here, ends here where these blue and uh, black plugs are. Come on, man. Ends here. When you unplug these, that goes, to, again, to the four-cylinder harness. This right here is part of the four-cylinder harness. This here, everything that hooks up to the solenoid is part of the four-cylinder harness. You're going to keep that goes into the firewall on the driver's side keep that this is a one plug this is the v8 harness now four cylinder portion on the body on the car now if you have like a 91 harness you're going to have a black plug and a white plug same thing you're going to be able to use the body harness you're going to be able to use the dash harness from the four cylinder this is the only piece you're going to uh separate here bam that comes off and then all this is v8 so this is from the v8 this here from the V8, obviously connects to it. And this here is from the V8. This is for the uh, ignition coil. Uh, this is for the ground. And then this one's gonna go to the battery. I'm gonna clean all this up. This goes to the starter uh, solenoid here. It's gonna go here. And then you're gonna run the power from here to the starter and then the uh, solenoid to here. Now this is a 93. So the starter solenoid is separate. On the 87 to, I believe, 91s, it'll be on the opposite side, but you'll be able to figure that out. So, V8 harness here also comes around. Same one that just literally ends right here, plugs into the four-cylinder harness. V8 one comes around here. This is going to go to your distributor uh, module. You're going to unplug this spout connector to set your timing. These here are going to connect to the uh, salt and pepper shakers, they call them, on the uh, back of the intake manifold for your engine harness v8 harness again this portion comes from the v8 harness into the uh firewall here into the firewall there these are going to connect to the solenoids these little uh egr solenoids here well this one's for what is this one for yeah this is for the uh 
the solenoids that are going to go here again four cylinders only have one little solenoid there or whatever you want to call it purge solenoid i think they are the v8 is going to have two one will have two plugs one will have one plug these are going to go there plug into your ac uh, accumulator i believe it's called now this is going to have to be replaced the this is what i used on my coyote swap cut it here whatever ran into the coyote because the coyote ac compressor is down here on the v8 this is going to run across here and then onto the uh, ac compressor over here so you're gonna have to change that line and this line which are fairly cheap i believe this is like 80 dollars or something that line probably at 30 bucks or so if you're gonna run ac which i suggest you do no reason to cut that shit off you don't gain anything this part of the v8 harness again that comes through the firewall there you're gonna have your uh, fuel pump relays and these connections are for the airbag. These two white ones are for the airbag sensors here. Bam, again, this is part of the four cylinder harness. Part of the headlight har harness uh, from the four cylinder. If you have a V8 swap, uh, I mean a V8 harness, use it. You won't have to cut anything. It'll literally just bolt right up to the uh, these little ground term little ground connections here. And it hooks right up to the uh, headlight harness. And then that will have the uh, alternator harness. So, pretty much it for the harness i have a v8 vacuum tree too that i'm going to use um i mean that one doesn't look too bad i might just keep that yeah 93 cobra booster i'm going to use and you're going to have to change this uh ac accumulator here everything else the condenser the radiator all that shit is all the same i cleaned it up a little bit not too much i have a tubular camera my mom just put it on but uh the heater core hoses you're going to need to swap those out as well um what else obviously you're gonna have to swap out the uh pedals i'll show you guys how to do that too this is the four cylinder harness here i kept it just in case i need to take off maybe like some connectors or something like that starter um starter harness as well this one's from the four cylinder might be able to use this again this one has two separate wires as opposed to just uh one that runs on the uh, uh, older Fox bodies, like 87 to 91, I believe it is. So I might use this one again. Again, here's the motor I'm going to be using. Uh, these are the salt and pepper shakers I was telling you guys about. These are going to hook up from the harness, the V8 harness coming from the firewall. Uh, I'll show you guys how to hook everything else up. Just a stock 5.0 motor. Pretty much is regasketed, top to bottom, new balancer water pump smog pump uh, power steering pump alternator thermostat timing cover timing chain stock cam stock heads uh, everything else is pretty much stock on it just gonna have these little shorty headers and an off-road x pipe cnl uh mass air meter and the air intake elbow piece so pretty much that's it for now once you get the motor out from your four cylinder it's pretty much just taking off what you don't need and then just adding what you're gonna need once i do the pedals and the uh booster i'll make a video on that that's pretty easy as well and then it's just dropping the motor in and hooking everything else up